A very warm welcome from the golden room of the Mauritshuis. My name is Martina Goslink and I'm the director of the Mauritshuis in The Hague in the Netherlands. This year we celebrate our 200 year anniversary because it was King William I who established the Mauritshuis in 1822. And this year, after 200 years, we will celebrate with the miniatures the fact that art and music come together. And especially in this room where many, many musicians came together for over the last 200 years. So please enjoy this edition of the miniatures of music and visual arts from the Mauritshuis Die Heek. According to the Bible, King Saul was visited by evil spirits. Today, we might say, he was suffering from depression. The young David is asked to play the harp for him, with the idea that the music would heal his soul and relieve his suffering. And, to no surprise, it works. King Saul is getting better and better by the serene tones of David's harp. In the meantime, David is getting more influence at the court. As a commander in Saul's army, he has one victory after another and the king becomes green with envy. He twice tried to kill David by throwing his spear at him. Luckily, David survives, but it's the end of their friendship. Remran decided to depict the moment right before the action is going to take place. He builds up the tension for us viewers who know what's about to happen. King Saul dries his tears in one eye with the curtain, but his other piercing eyes reveal to us that he is about to launch his attack. The ambiguous nature of this painting resides on one hand in the serenity of David playing the harp, and on the other in the violence implied by the spear, which Saul, seething with jealousy, will wield against David. To represent these two contrasting elements, I have found a wonderful musical connection in the duos for violin and cello by Czech composer Erwin Schulhoff, written in 1924. As in the painting, an enormous contrast in mood can be found between two movements of the duo. The andantino is soothing and bewitching. The violin and cello alternate a continuous line of plucked notes, evoking the sounds of a harp. Its tumultuous sequel, the Zingaresca movement, thunders along with percussive pulses and is a stark contrast to the Andantino. It matches the violent outcome of the Saul David story.